In this video, we'll talk about the USB LTE modem for Edge Connect. We will briefly cover what it is and how to configure it, see how to check the signal strength and other status metrics, examine the logs and alarms in detail, and cover the various CLI commands that can help us. The USB LTE modem is an add-on module supported on most of our Edge Connect hardware platforms, and it provides cellular WAN connectivity. It is supported from ECOS 915 and 923 onwards. It presents itself in the UI like any other WAN interface, and it's referred to as Cell Zero. There is an onboard LED which shows green in normal operation. In terms of configuration, it's really simple. You'll need the APN from your cellular provider, which is usually easy to find online. Once configured, it may take a few minutes for the cellular service to initialize. You can click on the detail button to see metrics including the APN, IMEI and serial numbers of the modem, the RSSI or signal strength reading, whether the cellular service is up, and if the SIM itself is ready for use. When the basic configuration is completed, the Cell Zero interface will be available to select on Config Deployment. When troubleshooting the USB LTE modem, generate a system dump and our TAC team will be able to assist you. Within that system archive, you'll find a number of files. DMessage is a useful file to examine hardware changes. Mostly the contents of this file doesn't change much after boot, and the timestamps are in seconds since boot. You'll see these logs after booting with the USB LTE modem connected. The modem supports hot plugging, and you'll see these logs upon removal from the USB port, and these ones when reconnecting the device. You can also see the modem here in the lshw.txt file, but it is not currently listed in if underscore stats.txt. Just like any other WAN interface, Cell Zero also has next-hop monitoring. You'll find this output in the sysinfo.txt file. Just search for Cell Zero Start. You'll also find the IP address and interface statistics in this file as well. Further down, there are details of any tunnels using the Cell Zero interface, and here is some sample configuration you might see. You can monitor bandwidth utilization using the Monitoring Interface Trends report on the orchestrator, where you'll see all the interfaces listed. The orchestrator can also show you at a glance all your USB LTE appliances, including connection status and signal strength on config USB LTE. Weaker signals are highlighted in yellow or red. Next, let's talk about the CLI commands and what their output means. Show Cellular Interfaces Cell Zero gives us a quick CLI way to see the signal strength, as well as the admin state and APN configured. Show Cellular Live Dash Logs is likely the command you'll use the most. Output from the process that generates these logs is also stored in the Messages file, and it's easy to spot as it will start output from IFMGR and then a date and timestamp within square brackets. These first four entries are seen when the cell service initializes and obtains an IP address from the provider. Note that the reason code reboot may not correlate with an actual Edge Connect reboot event. Here are the logs indicating whether a SIM is present or not. If the cell signal is too weak, you'll see these log entries. If the USB LTE modem is removed from the USB port, then you'll see these four logs. In the messages file, as well as the output seen from the live logs command, you'll see some other entries. These IFMGR logs are normal when the USB LTE modem is initializing. You'll see these tunnel D errors if the modem is removed from the USB port. Again, these are normal. You might also see these warning logs from MGMTD after device removal. In the alerts file, or on the Monitoring Alarms UI page, you'll see these logs if the cell signal is too weak or lost. If you don't see the cell interface's down entry, perhaps there is an issue with internet access across the cell service. 
If the modem is removed from the USB port, you'll see this alarm, LTE modem unreachable. The modem is designed to be hot pluggable, but bear in mind that the SIM is not. If the SIM is removed, the USB LTE modem should also be removed from the USB port and reinserted so it can reinitialize. If you don't do that, it won't re-establish comms with the cell provider and will show a constant amber LED. It's also worth bearing in mind that unlike wired services, there are usually several minutes of delay while the modem initializes and the cell service negotiates with the provider before cell zero becomes available. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.